Hello folks and welcome to the TVI Halloween special. I wasn't sure what to cover for this because there's any number of haunted houses, buildings and the like all over the place. I also didn't know how far to go for one of them until literally this morning. As it turned out, there's a fascinating ghostly tale almost right on my very own doorstep. This is Mexborough, a town in an unparished part of Doncaster which sits on the border with Rotherham. It's famed for a few things, including being the boyhood home of the legendary actor Brian Blessed. There are many ghostly tales in Mexborough, but none that rival that of the Mexborough Ragger. Back in the day, Mexborough was a town well known for its gypsy community, and they weren't exactly well thought of. They would often dance and sing in the marketplace for food and sell items to passers-by. This tale concerns a young gypsy girl who was often seen calling out for hold rags on market days in order to sell them at the quarries in the Don Gorge. However, that's where her fate would be sealed. This spooky looking former railway tunnel is notorious for its ghostly goings on and it's believed the girl is one of the spirits that haunts it. This is the Cadeby Tunnel, 163 yards in length and built in 1892 as part of a 12 mile long branch line that ran from Rangbrook Junction on the Hull and Barnsley Railway to Denneby Main Colliery. It's said that the girl died here whilst taking a shortcut through it to reach the quarries. The noise from the quarries was so loud that it was impossible for her to hear an approaching train. As it entered the tunnel, she scrambled into a safety archway in the tunnel wall, but crucially dropped her rags. It was as she reached out to retrieve them that the train hit her. Quite some time passed until her remains were found. It was her grandmother who raised the alarm after asking at the quarry, finding out that she never arrived. Now the girl's ghost is said to wander the tunnel, and there have been many sightings of her in here. The tunnel's western approach cutting has been substantially backfilled since it closed, but the entrance remains open. It's incredibly difficult to access this though if you don't have the right footwear. Mind you, the eastern end is no picnic either. This is it here, seen from the embankment overlooking the former line near Cadeby Quarry. By the time the next market day in Mexborough came around, word had got out about the little girl's death. An eerie silence fell on the usually booming marketplace as her grandmother entered that day and proceeded to curse the crowd with these words. All you who judge by appearances beware. If any of you dare to call out my granddaughter's name again, a judgment will befall you. It's believed the Mexborough Ragger isn't the only ghost that haunts this tunnel either. In 1903, a worker from the nearby estate committed suicide here by laying his head on the tracks just outside the tunnel and waiting for a train to pass. Who knows, there could well be more than those two that haunt the Cadeby Tunnel. Well, this is definitely a very spooky old railway tunnel, folks, and if the story is true, I can fully believe that there is a ghost that haunts it. There probably is more than one ghost in here, to be fair. I will say this, though. If you do want to experience this tunnel for yourself to see if you can find the Mexborough Ragger, do be careful, because the entrance to the tunnel, as you can see, is not the easiest thing to get to. That bank is very steep. It took me half an hour to work out a way to get down to the portal of the tunnel. But I'm in the tunnel, and that's the important thing, so you've seen the inside of it. And when you get in here, you will need some welly boots on because it's covered in a thick layer of mud. Somewhere in here are some doll parts that were left um, after the, uh, the incident, shall we say. And apparently, if you stand at those doll parts and call Mexborough Ragger three times, the ghost is supposed to appear. But I can't see the doll parts for obvious reasons because they could well be covered in all this mud. Uh, and they may well be at the other end of the tunnel. You can walk through the tunnel to the other end. It bends slightly and I can see daylight at the other end, but there's no way on earth I am going through this tunnel at the moment because it is covered in mud. Uh, from one end to the other. So yeah, we won't be summoning the Mexborough Ragger while we are here. But what an interesting story for Halloween, I'm sure you'll agree. And if you want to experience it for yourself, please do be careful. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.